this video, I want to talk about properties of periodic functions. So we spent a lot of time developing what a periodic function is, and now we need to talk about some words that help us describe those periodic functions. So the period of a function is the length of the repeated cycle. The midline is the horizontal line exactly halfway between the maximum and minimum of the periodic graph, and the amplitude is the distance, which is always going to be positive because it's a distance, from the midline to either the maximum value or the minimum value of the graph. I have a couple of graphs below, and let's go ahead and label those three properties. The first graph is a periodic function. It has a y-intercept of negative 2. Looks like it hits that same value again at 10 comma negative 2, and it hits a maximum value at 5 comma 2, which means that halfway between 0 and 5, it's crossing the x-axis, and halfway between 5 and 10, it's crossing the x-axis. Now the period is the length of the repeated cycle, so it looks like we have a full repeated cycle between 0 and 10, going from that low of 0 comma negative 2 to a low of 10 comma negative 2. Now that's a distance of 10. So the period in this case is 10. And notice that we could actually take that period in another place. So we could go from a high value to a high value. And if I was to do that, I could go from negative 5 comma 2 to positive 5 comma 2. And the distance between those two values is also 10 units. See, so the period doesn't matter where we take it, the period is always going to be the same. Okay, the midline is the horizontal line. That's exactly halfway between the maximum and minimum values. So I'm going to grab my ruler here and draw the midline. And the midline is halfway between positive 2 and negative 2. So in this case, the midline would be at 0. So I'm just going to draw a horizontal line at y equals 0. And that is the midline. And then finally, the amplitude is the distance from the midline to the maximum or the midline to the minimum value. If we go from the midline to the maximum value, that would be a distance of 2. And if we go from the midline to the minimum value, that would be a distance of 2. So the amplitude in this graph is 2. Let's move on to the next one. In this graph, we're starting at 0, 3. The graph crosses the x-axis halfway between pi over 4 and pi over 2, continuing to move down. The graph decreases until pi comma negative 7. The graph then begins to increase again. It crosses the x-axis halfway between 3 pi over 2 and 7 pi over 4. And then it increases to a maximum value again at 2 pi comma 3. So again, a nice periodic function with a smooth curve going between the maximums and minimums. Now we can count a period as being the distance between two high points or the distance between two low points. We have here two high points, so let's use those. We need the distance between 0, 3 and 2 pi, 3. And the distance between those is 2 pi. So the period here is 2 pi. Next, we want a midline, and the midline is at the halfway point between the maximum and the minimum. So halfway between 3 and negative 7. Now halfway between 3 and negative 7 is going to be at negative 2. So there's our midline value. I'm grabbing my ruler here so I can draw that in. Drawing in a horizontal line at y equals negative 2, and that is our midline. And then finally, the amplitude is the distance between the midline and the low point, or the midline and the maximum point. So that's going to be a distance of 5 units, whether I'm going from negative 2 to negative 5, or whether I'm going from negative 2 to positive 3. Still 5 units, so the amplitude is 5. 